Salesforce, the business software giant, said on Wednesday that it planned to lay off 10% of its workforce, or about 8. 000 employees, and scaled back office space because of concerns about the economy. The environment remains challenging and our customers are taking a more measured approach. Salesforce's revenue, like that of many other technology companies, boomed during the pandemic when more people around the world worked from home and relied more heavily on technology to collaborate with colleagues remotely. In his letter, Mr. Benioff suggested that the company had hired too aggressively during that period. Salesforce employed just under 80, 000 people at the end of October, up from about 48, 000 three years earlier. We hired too many people leading into this economic downturn we're now facing, and I take responsibility for that, Mr. Benioff said. A Salesforce spokeswoman said the company had no further comment on the cuts. The layoffs cast the tech industry slow down into even sharper relief. In recent months, tech giants like Amazon have slowed down hiring and cut jobs, while smaller companies like Lyft and Stripe have also announced layoffs. Many of the industry's largest firms have reported financial results suggesting they were feeling the effects of stubbornly high inflation and rising interest rates. Social media companies have struggled with a pullback in digital advertising in particular. Meta, which owns Facebook and Instagram, cut 13% of its employees in November and said its headcount would remain roughly flat through the end of this year. Snap, Snapchat's parent company, laid off 20% of its employees in August, blaming challenging macroeconomic conditions. Elon Musk, who purchased Twitter for $44 billion in October, has slashed the company's workforce by more than half. Salesforce's sales grew by 14% in its latest quarter, the slowest pace in years, it projected even slower growth in its current quarter. Other tech chiefs, like Meta's Mark Zuckerberg, have recently admitted to hiring too many people as they rushed to make cuts. More than 150, 000 tech workers were laid off last year, according to, a site that tracks job cuts.